mean the crystal. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old haunt. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Dorish sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts, and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back, Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Drabosht would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan. How long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. Then your idea of an apology? Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. <sighs> Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you wasted half of mine instead? You're what Dravosht needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Drabosht is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah, so have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. You, uh, ready for the off, then? We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and... Blackthorn? You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move! How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. Ah, <sighs> what was I saying about nasty surprises? 
They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And... Give those things what for, yeah?
question is, did I miss any? Man alive! You're still in one piece! I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. But you do know, more will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Sid, <laughs> you're even more fearsome than your reputation. <laughs> Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravarts won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With the flood springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north. And I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So... Thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened, I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. <laughs> and from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier, it was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally, something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy, even, but... Dravosh isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day, because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. Ah, the man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his lever work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoldan here. And that wet stone from the Outer Isles? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now. Save that talk to the thing's finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is, then. Sword to end all swords. Ragnarok. It's quite 
that something. I, uh, trust you'll take good care of it. Thank you. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive, then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following in the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. But we're up for the challenge. Here. A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Drabost. We reckon with those items there, we could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. It'll last you a good while. When did you get so big? Good morrow to you, my friend. If I may observe, <laughs> history can wait. I will. Re he truly be. It will take forget from himself. Ah, yes. Indeed. I have a few new notes that might interest you. I have quite the find for you today. Like you could do with a drink. As if setting our people free wasn't enough. Good news, everyone. The casks have been liberated. Here's to Sid. Oh, you're not leaving already, are you? Can I get you, Sid? That's what we... Welcome back, Sid. You look like you could do with a drink. Honestly, Sid, you're too nice for your own good. Do you hear that, ladies and gents? The next round's courtesy of the round.
if it's for the... to deal with these. This is it. Two down. That's all of them. A wine can uncrack. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. You earned this. All yours. Here you are. All yours. Here you are. You earned this. Here you are. All yours. You earned this. 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 <laughs> 